All right, so hopefully this works here. I'm just going to record my phone screen on the computer here. Um, okay, so you're on your phone, and you open up the app. Just put in my password here. Okay, and then you've got all these things here. So this is Bitcoin, all these other things you don't really have to worry about. They're just other kinds of cryptocurrency. Um, really, Bitcoin is the only thing that you want to think about because... Uh, that's really what people use, right? They don't care about the other cryptocurrencies unless they're trading them. Um, so the first thing you would have to do is go to the buy and sell. Here's the problem with the buy and sell through this thing is that other website I was showing you, the local, oh, right, I got to click it on my phone, not my computer, <laughs> the local Bitcoins site. Um, it, uh, the fees is cheaper because the fee is like 3%. This fee here is, I think it's around 5% that I looked into it. So you're saying you want to fund 1200 bucks. So if you want to fund exactly $1,200, then you'd have to do like three, probably 1300 bucks because it's going to charge you a fee for this. And then also it's going to charge you a 5% fee through the website, right? For their fee, which is the commission, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, say you do 13 probably even more than that actually because it's like almost 10 percent fee now right so maybe like 1330 or something you could figure all this out though just um with a calculator so that would be this is the amount of bitcoin this is the amount of usd uh oh you know what oh no okay this is the first thing you do okay yeah so something like that and then you would do next. So I click that next button and then it gives you options. So you could do it from your bank, from an Apple play card, a debit card or a credit card. I think you were saying you want to use a credit card. Um, I always like to say this, uh, if someone's funding, I just want to put out the message, like don't use money you don't have. Um, like if you, I don't know, like, you know, the end of the month, if, you, if you're having a hard time paying your bills, don't go and fund a system, um, use money you have, okay? just had to say that <laughs> okay so um credit card right i gotta select it on my phone so that and then i would hit the next button i've never done this before like funded through this app but i've used this app for tons probably i don't know maybe 30 or 40 transactions and if i've been using them for a couple of years so i trust them and this here it would be the fee Okay, so this is the thing that's like, that's a lot of money for a fee. Um, I don't know, but if you want to do it, you can. So from here, offers, this is where I don't know where it goes. Like maybe, maybe you'd go and click it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you click on it. Payment method, credit card, uh, estimated time would be 10 to 30 minutes when you would get the BTC in your wallet. And then you would go and do the, um, you'd click this and then we, I'm not going to go through and buy Bitcoin because I have Bitcoin. I don't want to buy it from here. Um, you go through that, probably click the button here and it'd, it'd run through the process for you. Like you'd have to put in your credit card number and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's up to you. Like I, I don't know. This seems kind of expensive to pay $89 for $1,300 of Bitcoin, but it's up to you. You know? Okay. So there's that. Okay. I'm not running through this cause I'm not actually going to buy Bitcoin through here. Okay. Oh, right. I got, I keep on clicking the, the keyboard here. Okay. So I'll just go back here. I'll go back to, um, this here. So really why I want to make this video is to, so you understand about Bitcoin wallets and addresses and stuff, because if you send it to the wrong address, right? Like say you're trying to send the Bitcoin that you've bought to sincere systems to purchase an investment package and you make a mistake with the address, then it's gone. Like you can't get your Bitcoin back. Basically it'll go to somebody else or it just goes into the internet web and it's gone kind of thing. And I've actually done that before. I, about three years ago, I sent $5,000. I was trying to send $5,000 to someone and, um, I was copying and pasting and I actually copied and pasted the wrong Bitcoin address. And I ended up sending $5,000 to someone that I knew. Um, but I lost that money because I sent it to 
the wrong guy basically. And then that guy I sent it to, I asked him like, can you send that back? That was a mistake. And he just never contacted me again. Cause it's like, you know, I guess he thought $5,000 was more than my friendship. <laughs> so, so if you make a mistake, it's gone, like gone, gone forever. So, um, don't, you can't make a mistake And here. I'm going to show you so you don't make a mistake here. So if you go and you click on this here is Bitcoin. So you click on that. Okay. And then here you can see, um, this would be the total market cap of Bitcoin. This is the trading volume of Bitcoin, which you don't really need to know this kind of stuff. You basically just want to watch the price of it because it goes up and down pretty quick. Like it might be 13,000. This is per one Bitcoin, right? So it might be $13,092. And then 10 minutes later, it might be $13,102. Okay. So if you're trying to make a transaction of, uh, uh, twelve hundred dollars to the sincere system, and that transaction is going to take I don't know uh, ten minutes to go through or something. Then that's why you got to kind of send a little bit more Bitcoin than what you're, you know, trying to send basically because you know what I mean, right? Kind of thing like that because it fluctuates so much. And that's the problem with Bitcoin is it fluctuates a lot, so you don't really know you know what you're sending because the value is in Bitcoin. It's not in USD when you send Bitcoin to someone, okay? So that's that. So uh, what you do here is a send address. So sending address would be like you want to send someone Bitcoin. So you want to fund your Sincere Systems account, you would send Bitcoin, okay? To receive is you receiving Bitcoin, okay? So you, if you want to get Bitcoin from someone, like say someone is saying, hey, I'm going to pay you for your car and they want to buy your car in Bitcoin, then you would send them a receive address. So you're receiving the Bitcoin. You're not sending the Bitcoin, right? So, cause if you confuse these things up, then, you know, you basically, you know, send yourself Bitcoin or, you know, kind of thing like that. So it's not going to work out. You got to know which one is send and which one's receive. So you're sending Bitcoin to, sincere system. So you'd click on send. Okay. It's going to open up this page here. And what this is, is, um, so you're sending, so you would send two, two means the address. Okay. So in sincere systems, it'll create a Bitcoin address for you to send to, and I'll run through all that stuff with you when you're ready to fund. Okay. It's, you know, just ask me and I'll help you. That's fine. So it'll create an address the sincere system to send to. So you put paste that address in there. You paste the address in there and then the amount. Okay. So then you type in the amount and it's going to tell you sincere systems will give you an address and the exact amount of Bitcoin that you have to send. Okay. And then here you can pick, you know, economy, regular priority kind of thing like that. So economy would be the cheapest way to send it, but it's going to take the longest, like up to 60 minutes. Basically, if we click on that, Oh, It'll say, oh, look at that. So uh, one hour to 24 hours, right? I always just leave it on regular. You know, normally it just goes instantly kind of thing or within 10 minutes. And then memo, you don't have to say anything. You could say sincere systems investment payment or something. That's just for your notes, right? Um, and then you'd press send, okay? So with this, it doesn't create a Bitcoin address for you. The, the place you're trying to send the funds to is where you would need to get the Bitcoin address from. Okay. And as I said before, like the address is basically, it's like a credit card number type thing, or it'd be like a bank account number type thing like that. It's just a, a way of, you know, the information to, uh, the funds to get to one place. It's the information of it. Right. Okay. So receive, this is where you would go and create a Bitcoin address. So for instance, if you're buying Bitcoin through this company, the BBB, what is it called? B B R D company, the name of this app, uh, say you're buying through, uh, the company here and they're asking you for a Bitcoin address to send the Bitcoin to, because you're buying Bitcoin, then what you would do, which I don't think they will, because it's, you know, they're the ones that are sending you the Bitcoin to the wallet that they own. So um, you would click on receive. If they ask you for a Bitcoin address, like if it says, you know, receiver's address or whatever, then you would click on receive. 
and it's going to create this. This here is a Bitcoin address. Uh, so the friggin' recording thing goes over. Can I move this? Yeah. Okay. Good. So this right here, one D M E Q Q blah 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 U T V J. That's a an address, right? So I could, you know, give someone that owes me Bitcoin. I could give them this address. And they could send the Bitcoin to this address and it would go into my wallet. Okay. So also what you can do, which I normally do if they give you this option on the website you're trying to fund or whatever, that you can use a QR code, which is actually the Bitcoin address as well. So it, it'll create the Bitcoin address for you. The QR code there, it would be this Bitcoin address. Okay. Or you can press share and that'll copy it for you. Okay. So that's basically it. Um, you know, it, it's pretty simple to use. It's just, it's kind of scary the first time you do it because it's, it's doesn't feel like money because it's, you know, it's not like USD or CAD or whatever it's Bitcoin, but you know, obviously there is a value to Bitcoin because it's, you know, the world right now is considering it as 13,000 USD, right? So it is something and that's why I like to use it. Yeah. So that's basically it. Um, you know, the whole process of, doing this stuff here, the buying, when you go and you buy your Bitcoin, I've never used this app to buy Bitcoin. So, you know, that that's going to kind of be a learning experience on you to do that. But I think it's pretty simple. You just input your credit card information and then you can buy it with your credit card. I might recommend like look into using your bank account. Maybe it's cheaper, like maybe using your bank accounts, like 1% or something, and then just definitely do that. Because five paying like 5% or whatever that was, that seems like a lot to pay. Um, but that's kind of it, right? Like people don't want to sell Bitcoin because it goes up in value. But here's the thing is it can go down in value as well. So, um, you know, okay. So that's it. Hope uh, this this video was good and, and uh, you know, you can understand what's going on here. If you ever like, if you have a question and you're like unsure about it, just message me, even if it's like three in the morning. Um you know, and then as soon as I see that message, I'll respond back to you because uh, it would suck for you to go and buy 1200 bucks of Bitcoin and then um, lose it or whatever because you sent it to a different address or something like that. Like that stuff happens all the time to people. Okay, so that's it.